Hello everyone and welcome back to another Universe Sandbox 2 video and actually welcome to the last episode of this year, 2018. It's the 31st of December right now, it's about 7 o'clock at night as may, as time of making this. So yeah, not much time left until the big 2019, so yeah, pretty crazy stuff now as well. Look how far we have come. I mean, I, I I probably should say this more at the end of the video, but just a massive, massive thank you to everybody who has watched the videos, subscribed and all that, because, wow, we have literally... Well, actually, if I look at the sub count, we're at 5895, so I definitely think we'll get 59 before the end of the year, so that's pretty crazy. But, yeah, Rene, if you remember last year, if you were around then, I hadn't even got 2,000 subscribers yet, so it is absolutely amazing how far the channel has come since this time last year like damn 5895 and last this time last year we probably had about 1990 something so it's absolutely crazy how well the channel has gone so yeah just a massive massive thank you to it all is really really appreciate it it's absolutely amazing how things have gone um this year so yeah we've hit two million views on the channel as well i also got a new microphone i know a lot of people wanting that so yeah, a lot of things have um been upgraded it's absolutely amazing so yeah just a massive massive thank you to it all it's absolutely amazing and it's a pleasure to be here i'm um, doing these videos because i never thought it'd be like this but yeah it's absolutely amazing so yeah just a massive massive thank you to all um, but yeah, anyways, going on to the video, we're going to be doing the last sort of update to my um, custom solar system. So I haven't been done, I haven't, I haven't done an update on this in quite a while, and I've been meaning to do it because we still have this stupid jubeser that needs removing that wrong card. When I want to remove that, I've also got a few little other um, updates to add in and some edits. So yeah, just um, see what we have to do. So yeah, Jupiter is the first one I'm going to do. So I'm going to get the boring stuff out of the way. Then I'm going to get to the newer stuff. So yeah, I'm just going to throw a regular stock Jupiter in again in this area so i just need to give it the orbital um elements of the normal one because i need to edit this so if i just get a shot of this i need to add this is based off the original one's settings so i'm gonna quickly um get those then on the new jupiter i'm going to um enter those in so 11.8 right then we go 5.2 so that's pretty much already correct yes yeah, so i want to replace that other jupiter because I, I i mean i don't even know why i added it in the first place i mean it's not very good but yeah, custom Jupiter is definitely... If anyone wants a challenge, make a custom Jupiter with all of the colours correct, with more bands. Because this Jupiter right here does not have enough bands compared to the real deal. I mean, the real one has hundreds. But this has this is very, very basic looking compared to the real one. So if anyone wants a challenge who's a modder, definitely go and make a custom Jupiter. Because that would be absolutely awesome to see. Because yeah, no one's ever done it. So yeah, it would be a very unique um, thing if you can achieve that. But yeah, anyways, let's um, put the 7 in there. That needs to be that. Inclination is 1.3. Uh, this one, 274. This one is 100. And the last one doesn't really matter. So right, they are now on the same orbit, as you can see. So we're going to go ahead and delete that stupid one. Goodbye. So there we go. That's the first um, little update of the system today. So let me go ahead and save that because I do not want that anymore. So let's yeah, override that save. Right, so now we've got the old Jupiter back in town again because it's definitely better than the one I had there. Right, and if you um, haven't seen the system before, I obviously have already have a custom modded Mercury here. This Mercury has a very, very thin... You can see there's a grey atmosphere on it. The regular Mercury you get in the game does not have that grey. That's a custom atmosphere there, so that's a nice addition. Then we have the custom Venus, which is slightly different colour to the regular Venus, if you want a quick comparison as well. I need to put it back on realistic mode as well. There we go. So this is my custom Venus, but if you compare it to the regular Venus, you can see that the regular Venus is just so off in colour. I mean, it's it's like a very, very pale, light green. That isn't correct. This is definitely more of a good representation than this is. I mean, I still like this more than the regular Uranus template, but yeah, there is that. So yeah, there's the um, regular Venus, or um, modded Venus. Then we have an Earth, nothing custom here. I mean, I guess we can turn climate mode on since it does. It looks nicer with all of the green on it than the brown. So yeah, we'll, we'll add that back. That, then we have dust storm Mars with a very, very thick Martian atmosphere there. Very, very cloudy. So yeah, I've got the dust storm there. You can just about see some of the surface features below that as well. But yeah, dust storm Mars. This, is, this one's really cool. So yeah, there's dust storm Mars. It's basically just a Venus um, thickness um, modded into the ATM. So yeah, we've just made the density or the um, thickness, or whatever you want to call it, just thicker, so the Mar or the red Martian atmosphere really shows up a lot more. Uh, okay, we've got nothing in the custom asteroid belt. I mean, we have the Mrs. Spock asteroid. That's a custom edition. Um, and then we just have the regular ones, series. If you're wondering why I put full stops in the name, that's to stop the size changing, because sometimes when you save 
some of the solar system objects in the simulation they get smaller in radius so i have to put these full stops to stop that so anyways there is that next we've got jupiter nothing there then we have saturn also saturn doesn't have any custom but then going on to uranus actually no, we do have this one as well the char charilico never pronounced that we've got that one there in between the orbits and saturn that's like the only little dwarf object to have its own ring system which is quite a cool addition honestly so yeah there is that but yeah moving on to uranus we have the custom light blue uranus in here so this is way cooler than i mean look how much better that looks compared to compared to the regular one like if we spawn that regular hunk of junk in that color is not correct i mean that looks way more accurate to the real one than um that stupid thing so yeah we've got this custom uranus in here so if i just searched uranus i think we, we've also got that's guran's one i actually kept that from the competition i like this one more since it is a little more vibrant in color but yeah that's probably closer to the real one but but yeah that's my one so it's a little lighter blue i like to have a little lighter blue one in mind so right there is that and then actually moving on to neptune yes a lot of you haven't oh i don't think many of you may have seen what i'm about to do with this so here's the regular neptune now i've always liked this this has always been a really really cool um object i mean this one's always been pretty spot on for me compared to compared to uranus especially but i now have a replacement for this so if i search neptune i now have a neptune custom so yeah check this out so look at that yeah look at this so we now have a neptune custom here now what do you guys think of this i really like that we've basically made the blue a lot more deeper in color i mean look how cool that looks if we go on a flashlight what do you guys think of that i mean if this was in the neptune competition this probably would have won 100 percent. but i mean look how cool that looks i don't know if i've shown this in a video before i think i did once but yeah just a recap yeah look how cool that is so i'm going to add this into my custom solar system as well i can always add this one back if i want to maybe i'm still thinking about this maybe it is a little too blue maybe it needs to be a little lighter in some areas but that's a sort of work in progress right now so yeah really really cool I think we need to change the radius on it as well. Yeah, that, this one's too large. We need to um, give that a 1.63 density. So there we go, 1.63. There we go. So now that should be, yeah, 246. Yes, that's pretty much the same size. So 24622. So we need to turn that to a 22 as well, like that. There we go. So now that's the same as the regular Neptune. So we can now add the Neptune custom in replacement of the regular Neptune. So. Yeah, what do you guys think of this custom Neptune? Let me know down below because if you don't like it, I can obviously remove it from this simulation as well. If you guys want that, but yeah, I'm, I'm gonna I'm gonna roll with this one for a while, like I did with that um, boring Jupiter back there, which I deleted. I'm gonna roll with this for a bit, see um, see if I like it and get more, a little more used to it maybe. But um, yeah, let's go ahead and add this in. So we need to go auto orbit. All right, now we can change the orbit um, settings. So where are they? There we go. So that's what I want. So if I look at the regular one quickly. Okay, so here are the settings. I need to make this guy a little smaller as well so I can see them all. all. Right, so we've got all of those. All right, so now if I go to the Neptune Custom. So oh, I really I really do like the way this looks, I have to say. It is, it is, a, it is a very good attempt at a custom Neptune. So we've got 1. Uh, 166. There we go. 30.2. This one needs to be 30, like that. Then the next one is 30.4, which is already entered in for me. So then we have, um, so instead of being 688, we have 000, 000 744, like that. There we go. Inclination is 1.77 for Neptune. This one um, is 274. So 274. And then this number as well, 132, like that. Okay, so that's now um, got the exact um, same area as the regular Neptune, apart from it's um, the opposite side. So if we move it all the way around, there you go. So yeah, literally exactly the same orbit. So we'll just leave it pretty much in the area where it was. So there we go. So good, goodbye, regular Neptune. We're going to roll with the custom one for a bit. So there we go, Neptune custom now added into the sim. So yeah, pretty cool little update there as well. So let's, let's go ahead and save it again. All right, perfect, replace. All right, now where am I heading next? I think, was it was it Iris? No, that's the highly reflective Iris as well. That's quite cool. Um... Right, now I want to head to Far Out, because if you remember, this is a light pink sort of coloured object. Now, I did say after the video where I made this that I would make a modded, modded one myself, and I have done exactly that. So if I spawn my new Far Out in, we got a light pink trail now. So check that out. So that definitely is a lot more interesting than the boring old colour this has. So we're going to go ahead and insert this one in as well so let me um get those um, numbers because i need those and i can insert that into the sim as well as another new custom um object in this system I mean, pretty much every object in here is almost is custom apart from jupiter saturn and earth now so 
yeah, pretty um, pretty cool how I've managed to build this system. I've had this system for such a long time as well. It's absolutely crazy how well um, how well it's gone. I've had, I've had a few people ask me for it as well, so I have given it to a few people. Um, okay, this needs to be 21.7 like that. Okay, perfect. Um, this one is... 169 that's already entered in All right that's 0 0.773 done inclination is 31.8 i'm quite good at entering these numbers in quite quickly um this one is 33 longitude that is 247 and then the anomaly is 154 so that should pretty much pull it in exactly the same spot there we go so now let's go ahead and delete the original one because we do not need that anymore and now we have our custom pink one um in here now so yeah check that out so it definitely looks a lot more interesting than that boring old regular trail color so there is that and also if you remember as well we have the custom planet nine here my my personal favorite planet pretty much in the game just because of how rare it was to get this as a random spawn um and I've, we also have a modern trail color on it now the trail color matches the actual color of the planet then we also have the goblin out here as well the custom goblin i made with the bright yellow trail it looks really cool and then we also have sedna which is back there with the red trail i made that before modern even became a thing this was i turned it into a star made the trail red and then saved it so yeah that gave us this so yeah that's my custom sedna it does look slightly different to what it originally because when there was an update that came out it did change the settings or no it will no when this actually got changed when the appearance when this was added to the game, the Sedna's texture changed a bit. That's why it doesn't look like it originally did. But yeah, I really like my dark red Sedna. I don't like the regular Sedna as much. If I spawn the regular Sedna in. So there it is there. I don't like the white areas on it. I, I really don't like this high elevation. It looked way better like that, uh, if you ask me. So yeah, I've got my own um, one there. Good old red Sedna I've had for such a long time there. Really, really cool indeed. So that was, I had to keep spawn. I had to keep spawning in planets till I got a red one back in the day before you could customize the colors. So yeah, that's how I got that. That was a very rare spawn, I guess as well. So yeah, there is that. But now, um, if I go and yeah, I need to save it as well to save the far out update. So let's go ahead and do that. So now I've got a lot of new objects in here. So here's the lineup of the solar system now. So we've obviously got the sun, then we've got Jupiter and Saturn there, looking good. All right, then we have the custom Uranus. There we go. Now we have the new custom Neptune. Yeah, guys, let me know. What do you think of this Neptune down below? Do you think it looks quite good to the original one? Or do you think it needs some tweaking? Because I definitely think it needs some tweaking slightly. With a few, Maybe it needs to be a little paler. In, maybe the blue's a little too deep. But let me know. What do you think of this Neptune custom um, down below? Because um, I'm interested to hear your thoughts on this. Because this is... Um, I'm pretty proud of um, the way this one is being curated. And also, um, Mr. Mislot made this as well. So, yeah. I didn't make this. I don't claim the rights to making this either. Um, so, yeah, there is that. Then we have Planet 9, the good old random spawn. Then we have Earth. Then we have the custom Venus again. The Dust Storm Mars. I like to have a bit of variety. Then we have the, the custom Mercury with the grey atmosphere. Then we have the custom Pluto. We didn't actually go to this. We have the custom Pluto with the white atmosphere. I really like the way that looks as well. It looks so much better than what it does normally. Then we have the Iris that is, reflects a lot of light. So if you didn't know, Iris is one of the most reflective bodies in the solar system. So we've, um, well, I've got a really um, bright reflective um, Iris here, which looks really, really cool as well like if you do this it sort of ruins it a bit actually no i, I do like that a little more having a bit of frozen water and actually I'll, I'll keep it like that why not because it definitely looks a little more interesting to have it frozen yeah i'll keep it frozen why not so i don't know if the actual one has ice on it but it definitely looks better with a bit of water on it there but yeah that's a really really reflected object like the real iris then we also have some of the regular dwarf plants make make i have customized slightly i gave it like a light blue that's custom then I have Sedna here, the good old dark red looks amazing. Then we have Ceres there, nothing there. Then we just have a few more. Orcus, I have like a very brownish colour. I've sort of tried to make it um, Pluto sort of colours. Like if you look here, it's got like a bit of the brown on it with Orcus there. It's, it's fairly basic though. Um, then we just have a few more of the dwarf plants, nothing custom here. Then we have the goblin there, there's the goblin. Right, then we have the far out as the very, very last textured planet in the system there. Because all the other ones are just little... Um, little um objects out here so oh, there we have chiron as well or chiron i think that's meant to be pronounced then we have little mr spock at the end which is the smallest um object there i actually need to add, add the asteroid ida in actually i wouldn't mind doing that in a future update but yeah any suggestions for this system as well guys if you if there's any more like um asteroids or stuff i should add in let me know because this custom solar system has a lot of um cool objects that you don't normally get in the regular solar system simulation because if you didn't know the regular solar system it doesn't have planet nine it doesn't have the goblin it doesn't have far out it doesn't have mr spock it doesn't have i don't think it has um this one here either um, I don't think it has um, Chiron either, which is this one. 
there it is it's also located in between like saturn and uranus's orbit there i don't think that is in the regular simulation as well obviously none of the custom colors are in the regular one as well so yeah this is a way way more improved um one compared to the regular if i say so myself so yeah really really cool indeed i i, I really like how far this simulation has come as well this year because obviously at the start this is pretty much the um beginning of modding this year because i don't think i don't think last year this time last year we had modded objects yet so yeah, modded objects, the first year, I'd say, is a big success with the amount of cool objects that have managed to be or have been created. So, yeah, here's to a 2019, I guess. Let's um, see what other crazy stuff. Um, maybe there'll be a new type of planet that will appear in modern at some point. I mean, maybe we could get a gas giant with an atmosphere with those insane clouds. That would be quite a cool creation, I think. Anyways, let me go ahead and save this again. Let's refresh it. There we go. That looks better. So, a solar system there. And also, if you guys want this simulation, just let me know. I can send it to you in Discord as well. I probably could put it on the workshop if you guys want. But if you want it, just uh, let me know in the Discord and I can send you this. Because it obviously contains all of the uh, modded objects in here. I know they're not in the right order on the list here. But, yeah, they're all in there. I really do like that Iris as well. That's a very highly reflective object there. I don't think I've really shown this off much in a video before. But, yeah, I really like this. Obviously, it's not as reflective at the moment. But when you put it on studio mode, it really does reflect that light. So... Yeah, really, really cool indeed there with the Eris. And yeah, there we go. So yeah, guys, let me know. What do you think of um, this custom solar system with all of the uh, modded objects? So I definitely think it's way cooler than the regular. And obviously, the custom color trails really do it as well for me. They look so cool. So yeah, let me know. What do you guys think of the um, system down below? So if you, if you, obviously, if you want it as well, um, let me know. I can obviously send it to you. And yeah, if you've got any suggestions for future objects that we could add in, let me know. I was definitely thinking the asteroid Ida. If there's any other dwarf planets we could add, um, that are real planets definitely and um, we can add those in as well because remember only real objects no fake objects everything in here has a theory about it or is real so we'll see planet nine um far out and the goblin i think i think far out and goblin are real but obviously planet nine for instance that's more of a theoretical object but i like to have it in here anyway it doesn't cause any harm being that far out and it's always been a, a special sort of object for me as how or as of how good it is i mean that was a random spawn i mean that is literally the coolest thing you could get from a random spawn so yeah there is all of that so yeah guys if you like this video let's see if we can go for 50 likes on the last video of the year and also subscribe if you're new let's see if we can push to 5900 before the year ends so let's see if we can try and get it before 2019 so we're only five subscribers away we are very very close let's see if we can do that so if you're new definitely helps on the journey if you want to um see the videos fairly often as well and also hit that bell if you want to get notified as soon as a video comes out or join my discord as the bot in there actually lets you know when i upload as well so yeah definitely join that if you want to have access to all of these systems and stuff as well because i can always post them in there if you guys want that but yeah there we go so yeah make sure you guys um all have a good rest of your day and a good new year's day and yeah happy new year to you all so yeah that is that you'll probably see me i think the next video will probably come out on the second or third so yeah make sure you guys all have a good new year's day and i'll see you in the next video Goodbye.